We have an Assassin oh. versus Tech matchup potentially in the roaming department. We haven't seen this in a long, long time. And best believe he's gonna use Servital Ice. Let me tell you that for sure. Best believe. Best believe, you know? I mean, it, Coach Wrecked, when he was uh, a player, when he made his debut for Alter Ego, he played the Uranus with Revitalize. So ah. you best believe that he's gonna be putting in a good word for the Revitalize spell. Yeah, and Coach Aldo is betting on some of the XP option here for Geekfam. I'm expecting him to ban the XP's that Tarantula. kind of have, yeah, Teresa that has that durability, or maybe a Barat, so that Beloy will have a harder time, I guess, to open up the map because you are a Polo uh, you are a Hulker. You are very prone to getting picked off at the end of the day because you are an assassin. And right now for Geekfam, they ban with the Alpha as well, which is interesting because if you look at it, yeah, I guess they already, they already have a Jungler, technically, but, but they're lacking a lot of ways to really deal with the Hylas. The fact that they showed the Moscow so early on means they can't go for the carry. So usually he'll, they'll be forced to go for a different solution, or maybe they go, they'll do exactly what Mika was talking about just yesterday, right? Instead of trying to stop the Hylas, ignore him. Find ways to go with the mobility dive. and dive in the back line, and the dive. Moscow can't do that, and so can the so can the Helkert, and so can the Julian. Look at this. History of Gops. First place in MDL Indonesia Season 8. First place in MDL Indonesia Season 9 with Big Fam ID Jr. And also 9 to 10th place in MDL Come Season on, 6. Dexter. Should I it's tell you the story, the tale of Fever First Sweep once again? Yeah. Or, yeah, you know, you know Arashi is here. I don't, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Alright, so Geek Fam Jr. Shut it, bro. <laughs> they reverse swept RQ Senna and MDL. 3-0 up and then 4-3. Those with Gops and Masako. So part of that lineup that reverse swept RQ Senna, MDL, is now here with Geek Fam in MPL. Can you believe it? Four games in a row you're losing? You lost that one. What are you trying yeah, to make it final? You're kind of really emphasizing <laughs> that performance, Chevin. I'm up, just what's trolling. Up with I'm that? sorry, RQ fans. I'm just trolling, right? But long. it's going to be carry. Wow. Carry? Interesting. Because there's really not much of a frontliner here from Geek Fam. I guess they're expecting yeah. a Terezla. Or maybe like you're up against a Beloy. Like, so he is already uh, pretty. EP, I guess. So, carry is pretty good against him. Hey, man, I mean, I don't know, the Helker isn't really that beefy, you know? He's oh, kind of actually so kind of cool. squishy. Beloy itself. I think he lost a lot of weight. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. good for him, actually. He's right now. a lot more athletic, <laughs> looking like the old Beloy, the basketball days. <laughs> Absolutely. For those of you who know about it, Sushin, though, picked up fourth pick, by the way. Oh, my God. That's oh. definitely an unfamiliar sight, but the Arlet making an appearance as well. Fortunately, it won't be Luke that we're used to seeing on the side of Geek Fam. Last pick for Ultra Ego, though. Ooh. So, they haven't picked a jungler, I believe. Yeah. Unless they want to get super creative with the highest jungler. Bring up that can. meta once again. Lancelot? They're hovering. Yes, yeah, definitely hovering toward, hovering around so long. An assassin here. Joy. Lancelot. Ooh. We're hovering over everything at this point. He's in <laughs> Shin, too. I'm on, I'm on. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Okay. Obama is going to be delighted. Oh, it's really the tank The return of... Fr no, no, is it no, don't us? you dare, Niall. Okay. Ooh, Lancelot. So oh. it is something that we haven't really seen that often, considering that there is a better sure. option, oh. I believe, wow. in the jungle. Petals fall. I, feel, I feel like Nolan is a, just a better version of Lancelot, or is it just me? Who? Nolan. Nolan? I don't think so. I think Lancelot, I mean, for Nolan, maybe in terms of dealing damage, it's more reliable, right? You don't really need to land a skill shot, and your skill shot is massive. For sure. For Lancelot, you have much more ways. Like, you're way more creative with how you actually tackle team fights with your skills, and you're much more mobile, to be fair, if there are, you know, uh, things around you. Yep. But the risk is higher, definitely. No one can get away. A bit more easier, I believe, the in and out game is much more, I guess, present. But Lancelot, you're not really... You don't really have that uh, mobility that Nolan has when you go in, I believe. Wait a minute, I mean, when it comes to just mobility and output potential, the invulnerability, I think the Lancelot has a lot more advantage. Nolan really shines when you're just forced to just dash away straightforwardly. If you're fighting around areas of focus with minions, with jungle teams available, then the Lancelot can absolutely be a, a masterclass in Assassin's performance. But Shevin, this is the first game. La Familia! The value of families will be tested in this game number one Welcome of Kick Fam versus Legends. Alter Ego. And right away, a boy getting some good damage on oh. Rondo. That might be a flicker there. Yeah, Beloy was already just hunting for prey there. Saw someone get knocked up, get pulled back. 
I guess this is the combo with Helker. So usually with Juicin, you want someone to actually clear fast Roundo. I actually thought to go for the Stingers there. Well played, but gets brought back Roundo. But after you oh, use the Flinker, first blood over to Beloitsky, gets to reach it. Nice! Didn't go for it! Beloit gets out! What was that? that wow! Was, that was quite weird. And also the overextension over and over again from Roundo. I guess this is the welcome to MPL ID moment for this guy. Meanwhile, the Beloitsky, almost. The Beloit aura sent Nile back. That's what it is. Once again, they're really just not respecting the CCs coming in from a boy, I guess. Which is trying to play around it. Beloit right there goes on to Owen, forces the Earth Shatter. Woo! As Vincent steals away a few camps. All right, we have a bit of a slowdown here. Let's talk about the emblems by Gamesmax. Heist and Chidera both with the tenacity, respecting the damage potential. Beloitsky though with the Master Assassin, Assassin Emblem and Rupture. He is attempting to be that secondary assassin here. Whereas for a boy and uh, for Bumps, it's all about sustain, right? We've seen the, the power of a sustainable oh team. They can withstand a lot of damage. And for Geek Fam, they want to play the long game. They want to make sure that their guy can get the hit as much as possible. They can get a boy to just cast a Lantern Flare for as long as possible. And looking at the farming game right here, it seems to be somewhat equal, but Vincent comes into the bottom side. Takes away that gold crab really, really easily. The Beloit effect is real, man. He's man marking Nile everywhere he goes right now. He's going to do some damage more and more. Rondo looking to get that ultimate from Zeus in while looking. Terrify into the Stingers. Is always providing focus. Vincent actually starts up the turtle, but will reset it. He has wait around for this, and in the gold lane, there's always a chance for Chidera to come in with the Spear of Destruction. The lane seems to be going quite even for now, and we haven't seen that oppressive high loss presence just yet. Nino is level 4 with the Revitalize. We've seen how this plays out before, man. There's not nearly enough damage, I believe, in the heads of Geekfam right now, but they do have the crowd control advantage. If they really want to rely on that, on the long fight, they have to be careful about Owen's Primal Wrath as well if he gets level 4 off this wave. Interesting. Oh, Objective setup from both teams here. There's really not much of a urgency, I guess, towards the turtle. Meanwhile, though, Nino will try to get some info here. Yeah, they've scouted on now already. A boy actually crimson beacon. Throwing round onto the turtle. Are terrifying and the execute used up and round was still able to escape. By the stolen crimson beacon and a flicker by himself. A boy flickers oh. out oh. to safety. Now it's Nino caught Vincent! Dealing with the high loss, Owen oh. unable to get the Earth Shatter. Now with a good final slash, and Vincent wins out the red tree battle. Owen's next to the chopping block, and Vincent on the Julian is just eating good. I think that was the worst way to start your career in MPL Indonesia. Owen, I believe he misclicked yeah. his onward and also the flicker two times error from the roamer of Alter Ego. He was trying to land the Earth Shatter, tried the flicker to adjust the angle last second, but it did not work out. Oh, Again, man. a challenge prediction. It's all for Geek Fam. And looking at the situation right here, they're on track to make those predictions a reality. For Alter Ego, the fact that Nino on the high list there was forced to expand the Revitalize so early on when he wasn't focused down, he wasn't going in with his team, was just so unfortunate. And now look at him. He's getting pushed back. Gloria's pathway in though. Gons is right there. Beloisky's actually getting chunked super low. Beloisky's still there. Vincent will be able to deal with Nino, but it's going to be a trade for the Roamer. Good final slash over the round though right now. The Crimson Beacon. Oh, brings Nile back. The Earth Shatter not connecting. Gons to the back line. Distracting Nile as Owen gets chain CC'd. And Gons just takes the value out of it. Owen, defensive primal wrath. Trying to escape. Vincent's still running him down. Good immobilization there. The Geek Fan will be forced to stop this chase. You know you're doing something wrong when the horse is getting picked up two times in four minutes and even Vincent taking Niles lunch money. This is looking pretty bleak for Kickfam already 3k gold lead in four minutes. We were talking about how the horse can be so oppressive given the right resources, especially because we saw the Rome high loss being such a problem. And now this is an EXP high loss, but we're not seeing the same kind of issue. It's because everyone's just coming in at the same time. We talked about this a little bit, but when the Hylas is just taking damage and no one is trading the damage back, the Hylas isn't the kind of carry they can actually do damage solo. It's about the team following up and making it difficult for, the, for everyone to focus on the Hylas or the team. But with a boy so oppressively flashing out that lantern, it's so difficult for Alter to even get a moment here. They're getting lifted up left and right. I thought Owen's job was to lift people up, right? But the juice in Owen, there you go. With a flicker forward, but it's all onto Beloyan. This, oh, Spear of Misery stunning him up now into the airborne. Owen gonna be traded back. 
It's a one for one, and Ooh. whenever you go for Beloy, it's really not going to be worth it if you use the, that, that many resources. And that's probably what he wants as well, right? And Vincent getting the turtle on the other end. They're losing every trade available. Exactly. Alter Ego, even Nino. But Vincent is doing oh, wow. too much damage here. Nino's got to respect it, man. He didn't even use the enhanced sight. He was saving it for the sword. Look at the rotation. Rondel and Niall came there. Wow. For what? It's really... They're really just, you know, taking a vacation in, in the bottom lane. They're getting out macroed. Out macroed, out microed as well. Oh, Niall man. goes in for the play, goes in his purple, but with gloves. Over with the vengeance there, trying to go for the final side, but Niall, good escape of the thorn roll. Chidera able to displace himself with the Abyss Walker, but Vincent was already able to steal the purple, but boy, Roundel! Almost getting caught with the Spear of Destruction, able to dash away from it, and it's Owen who tanks it. Chidera still takes it, and this is a 4.6k gold lead from Geek Fam. Some good stuff cooking. Yikes. It, it's almost like there's no synergy from all three ego. Even when they were able to get a pickup onto Beloisky or, well, as of right now, just Beloisky, uh -oh. it doesn't seem like everyone else Yikes. is on the same page. <laughs> Take a look at the game fact by Gopay. Uh -oh. Every team that picks high loss in FPL in the season 14 still has 100% win rate, but, you know, if we're going by this rate, you know, might have ruined it. Well, Not we don't yet. know that just yet. Oh my god, look at this up top. The rotation. A, a boy man marking four people. A, a boy is literally just putting the lantern down saying, I see you, bro. We all see what? you. But what you don't see is your turrets getting sieged down. The Geek are assassinating turrets. They're out macroing Alter Ego. It's almost so like, hard. It's like Alter Ego is kind of hypnotized by the lantern, man. It's being flashed in their faces again and again. And immediately they're like, okay, lantern time, lantern time. Watch out, watch out, lantern. Yeah. And uh, while they're doing, well, they're doing all that. They're losing a lot more than they can like, help for. Look at Nino though. Again, all alone this time. Happy Glory Trapway gets ping pong to death. I thought table tennis was a sport in the Olympics, not in the Land of Dawn. I mean, they want to play it in the Land of Dawn as well, but look at where Rondo and Owen was. They were rotating to the top lane, where really, literally, zero Geek Fan member was there, and Chidera just having a time of his life. I think Chidera at this point is just autopiloting. He doesn't have to do anything too crazy. All he has to do is push and not overextend. Two and we haven't turrets. even seen this is Geek Fam doing all this macro advantage without even relying on the Spear of Destruction for that global play. This is just them rotating more efficiently. 8k gold advantage at 8 minutes on a relatively low kill game. And for now, Alter Ego has no issue for Beloisky. They have no issue for Chadera, they have no issue for a boy as well. All these problems are just adding up, unsolved, and the moment it explodes in a big Lord fight, that could be the end, man. If this is how the game is gonna go, all three go have a big problem waiting for them. And I think they are just terrified by the presence of Beloy. The fact that they're not really looking to scout the other end of the map with the amount of frontliner that they have just speaks volume. Meanwhile, look at that, Beloy. One thing which was, you know, that's like one third of its HP, HP. And this is a horse. high loss. Yeah. That is a high loss that... Uh, Below is horsing around. And, he and he's not even a horse. <laughs> he's a Pegasus, Unicorn, whatever the heck we were talking about yesterday. With Centaur. Realize. Look at that, though. Attempts off the play, but still, it's just so so little and so ignorable by the side of Geek Fam. You're talking about the damage taken by the horse. He only has a Radiant Armor. Any kind of physical damage right here will damage him, and there's plenty. The Arlet, uh, the, the Moskov, the Hellcurt. There's so many ways right now for Geek Fam to be able to take down the horse. There really is. Holy defense going to be popped down, I think, in the bottom lane. Oh, and man. The Lord hasn't even spawned in the game yet. That's how fast the game has been played here by Geek Fam. They're almost beating the clock at this point with the gold lead. Beloisky always finding an opportunity to go for the Stingers there. There was really no attempt to make a play, they're just trying to respond with some of the moves that Geekfam made, and Geekfam hasn't made any mistakes whatsoever so far in this game. So, like, where does the kills come from? Where does the opportunity come from? When you're, when you're not trying to make it yourself. Ooh, oh my god, that man. gotta hurt! That gotta hurt! Oh, the, and <laughs> the jukes! Ole, says Beloy! Dodging out. He has a great Dragon Spear, by the way, so at this point, even if he gets caught by one or two crowd control tools, he's gonna slide away just like that, man. They're, pre they're already preparing for so far ahead, and Alter Ego is just lagging behind, even for the Julian. This Julian is carrying a, a, a Feather of Heaven and building towards a Holy Crystal, I believe. Vincent is just going for that burst. I had a conversation with Beloy during the media day. 
Because he was there for Saudi, right? He was there for MSC. He told me, yo, I've been in Saudi for three weeks. I lost all my mechanics. And well, with another three weeks after the media day, it seems oh. he's gotten it. Look at this, Dark Knight Falls. He wants to go into Dara, finding the Spear of Misery, actually, oh, wow. still. And that actually becomes a win for Geek Fam, despite Maloyski losing out that much HP. He's just playing around at this point. He took a turret shot for fun right there, Maloyski. <laughs> now with a boy picking up the Buff Wings as well. It's only going to get tougher and tougher for Alter Ego yes. to be able to burst and pick off one of their members when they keep stacking up all these defensive tools. They're going to be forced to play the long game, and Heiz and Owen need to be the one carrying, but that means Niall, the highlight of oh. matchup right here, won't be able to do anything. Man, Owen in the back was zoned away just from the chain. Nino, he's a squishy boy on the horse! Oh, oh my god! Nino! Deleted! The high loss that we have been talking about! Goloiski finally gets punished here, but he's just a rumor. Oh! Chadera! Chadera oh in the bottom god. side of the map, just gets the solo. Now it's a Crimson Beacon over the highs to pick up the throwaway, a Purify baited out the first Lord. This could be the fastest game in season 14, 11 minutes. Round of the lead, force use the Beacon. Chadera with the chase under the fountain. It's still the burn down from a boy. Owen cannot withstand this. They can go for it. 11 minutes is all it takes for King Fam to get rid of Alter Ego in game number one. Whatever Alter Ego is doing right now, they have to change it. There's, there's got to be, there's got to be major adjustment to this because that was, that was, like I don't want to say anything, but like I could spell out like ten words that could describe what just happened, and it would be way too harsh. What did I just see? You saw destruction, complete utter destruction from Geek Fam to Alter Ego. What a stomp. They're putting a leash on towards the horse. 